So we're presenting the, uh, the uh, safety follow-up and the efficacy of valuable follow-up for a study that combines uh, obinutuzumab, polituzumab, and, uh, and uh, lenalidomide in relapsed and refractory follicular lymphoma. So this is really the first, um, first uh, cutoff where we're able to show this data, and we're excited to really show that it looks like this triplet combination was very safe and well tolerated in what was a very highly pre heavily pretreated follicular lymphoma population. So the median uh, flippy was three or greater. Um, the 50% of our patients were refractory to their prior line of therapy. And most of these patients were, um, were very uh, high grade uh, patients. So this, is, um, this compares very well to the, this comp these patients were very heavily pretreated, and we were um, very encouraged to see that although there were, um, although all patients um, had adverse events, the primary adverse event that we saw was neutropenia, which was well controlled um, with growth factor support and dose reduction of lenalidomide, and that. Um, Although there were a high number of uh, there was a high number of neutropenia, there was a very small number of uh, neutropenic fever with only two patients with uh, grade three neutropenic fever. So this uh, combination looked well tolerated and was very active, with a CR rate that ranged from 67% uh, to 78%, depending on whether the Lugano or modified Lugano 2014 criteria is used. But a very high CR rate that compares. Uh, that compares extremely well to um, the CR rates that have been described for other trials combining either polituzumab with uh, rituxan or obinutuzumab or uh, lenalidomide with rituxan. Um, we're encouraged that with uh, a 16-month follow-up, uh, our PFS appears to be durable in many patients with only two patients out of 17 having relapsed uh, to this point. So this is early. These are very uh, exciting data, but we're going to need the full efficacy of valuable population, which will present at a larger meeting and a longer PFS follow-up to see if this early promise is sustained in what may be potentially a new regimen for uh, heavily pretreated and relapsed follicular lymphoma patients.